Back in 2017, the Kansas City Chiefs drafted Patrick Mahomes 10th overall, which at the time was considered a questionable move as they still had Alex Smith, who was playing exceptionally well for them, along with the fact that Patrick Mahomes was a very raw prospect. He really had quite a few turnovers in college. Well, nowadays, after Patrick Mahomes has led the Kansas City Chiefs to their fifth straight AFC Championship game, nobody is questioning it now. And let's see what all nine players who were drafted ahead of Patrick Mahomes turned out to this day, because I believe all nine teams wish they drafted Patrick Mahomes. Let's get right into it. At number one overall, it was Miles Garrett. Now, this wasn't a bad pick by Cleveland at all. Miles Garrett has racked up 74 sacks, two all pros and four Pro Bowl appearances. However, with their constant need at quarterback, having Patrick Mahomes, a franchise changer, would have been a huge pick here. Now, I will say Miles Garrett was one of the best picks in the top 10 leading up to Patrick Mahomes, as there was a couple others that wasn't that bad. But Miles Garrett's one of the few that are still on his original team. And I can imagine if Cleveland could go back in time, they're taking Patrick Mahomes here at one no matter what, despite how great Miles Garrett has been for them. Plus, let's just not talk about that time he tried to kill Mason Rudolph with a helmet. But Miles Garrett, number one overall, solid pick, but no Patrick Mahomes. Mitch Trubisky was drafted number two overall. He is the first quarterback off the board. And let's be real here, the Bears definitely regret this decision. With Patrick Mahomes still available, drafting Mitch Trubisky here looks awful now. But at the time, it wasn't that bad. It was still a bit of a reach, and the Bears paid way too much. I believe they did trade up to get Mitch Trubisky here for a guy who was at best an average quarterback for them over their span of being together. Since he's left the Bears, he has not had much success. He was the backup in Buffalo and is now kind of the starter backup in uh, Pittsburgh. But... I don't believe that the Bears wouldn't go back and change his pick in a heartbeat. I do think any team on planet Earth would rather have Patrick Mahomes at this point than a guy who made one Pro Bowl and was just mid for them. Now, he did win the MVP, which is a huge advantage for him, as not many players have won the MVP. But I think the Bears would still rather have Patrick Mahomes here. The San Francisco Niners took Solomon Thomas at number three overall. Now, he's probably the biggest bust in this draft so far, as he hasn't really done much of anything in his career. He's only racked up 10 sacks and a little over 100 tackles, and he's now on his third team since being drafted by the Niners back in 2017. He just has not lived up to that hype, and the Niners are a type of team who is a team that is really a quarterback away from being one of the best teams in football perennially. They already are one of the best teams in football, but they have gotten close to winning a couple of Super Bowls since 2017. However, the quarterback play has just not been quite there enough. And if they drafted Patrick Mahomes here instead, I think they would have been a Super Bowl champion. That's easy to say for anybody as Patrick Mahomes has won a Super Bowl, but in this the Jacksonville Jaguars took Leonard Fournette at number four overall. Leonard Fournette was a solid running back for Jacksonville until they just cut him. It was a weird time with Jacksonville. Leonard didn't quite agree with the team and whatnot. He went on to go to Tampa Bay where he has won a Super Bowl since then and has been a solid piece, including being known as Playoff Lenny. As for being a fourth overall draft pick, you wish he would have been on the team for more than three seasons. He also didn't get any Pro Bowl or All Pro or any of those type of votes in for him within his time in his entire career, actually, not just as his time in Jacksonville. But you got to sit there and think Jacksonville really wish they probably had a quarterback because for a while there, Blake Bortles was your starting quarterback. Now, granted, they have found their quarterback of the future when T-Law. However, Patrick Mahomes might have sped up this rebuild as a franchise then again with their terrible coach drafting decisions. Who knows if anybody could have saved this franchise here. The Tennessee Titans took Corey Davis at number five overall, which he has been quite a disappointment. He's not even on the Titans anymore as... He is now on the Jets. As Corey Davis has never broken a thousand yards, has never received a Pro Bowl or All Pro selection, as he's been just kind of a decent receiver. Fifth overall for a decent receiver is a crazy draft pick. And a lot of these picks 
so far have been pretty much just decent at best players. You know, guys who are second or third strings or even, you know, the second receiver in this case in Corey Davis. But I think the Titans wish they could have had this pick back because they would have drafted, obviously, Patrick Mahomes. But there's just other people who would have been better to draft here than Corey Davis. Heck, there is even another receiver that is better to draft that gets drafted in this draft class. I think this was a huge miss by Tennessee. The New York Jets took Jamal Adams number six overall. Jamal Adams has had a pretty solid career to this point as he has taken up one All-Pro and three Pro Bowl appearances in his time in the NFL. However, they haven't all been with the Jets. He only spent three seasons with the Jets before the two sides didn't quite see eye to eye. And Jamal Adams was then traded to Seattle where he has had his best seasons in Seattle, not in New York. I would imagine New York would take this pick back any day now because, let's be real here, a guy who only spent three seasons with you, that high overall of a pick is not where you want to be, even if he is putting up decent statistics, decent stats, as, such as nine and a half sacks in a season by a safety, which is pretty damn good. But I can imagine you that the Jets wish they had this pick back and took Patrick Mahomes instead. The LA Chargers selected Mike Williams number 7 overall. He is the only other guy except for Miles Garrett in these 9 players to still be on the team that drafted him. Which is crazy to think to be honest. But on top of that Mike Williams has been a pretty solid receiver. He has 2,000 yard receiving seasons. He had 10 touchdowns in one season. And he liked the lead in league in yardage per reception which is pretty damn impressive. Now obviously... A wide receiver versus a generational quarterback isn't much of an argument, but if I'm the Chargers, I can't be mad at what he's been able to do as they also now have a franchise quarterback in Justin Herbert to go alongside him. And I think this is a solid draft pick. Obviously, would they rather Patrick Mahomes? Yes, but this is not as bad as any of the other picks outside of Miles Garrett to this point. The Carolina Panthers took Christian McCaffrey at number eight overall. This is probably one of the best picks in this draft. McCaffrey has been amazing. Outside of the time he's been injured, he has won one All-Pro selection and one Pro Bowl selection and almost one Offensive Player of the Year, which he should have as he put up 200 scrimmage yards that season with 1,000 receiving or 1,000 rushing. He's had 3,000 yard rushing seasons. Now, hell has become a bit of a concern as he spent two seasons where he was pretty much injured for most of the year. And he was recently traded away to the 49ers this season by the Carolina Panthers. But he has been an explosive player and obviously everybody would rather have Patrick Mahomes. But Christian McCaffrey is a very solid selection here and a great pick by Carolina as he was a fantastic player for him throughout their career. And finally, the Cincinnati Bengals selected John Ross ninth overall. The biggest bust before Patrick Mahomes at least in this draft class. Probably the biggest bust in this draft class altogether. The only player drafted before Mahomes who is not still playing. He was actually, he was on the Bills coming into the playoffs, but he didn't have a team for most of 2022. He didn't do much of anything. He was drafted this high due to being just straight up fast as he broke the 40 yard dash record, but it was a complete flop as his best season. He had about 500 yards receiving and could never really repeat that. And that is why John Ross was such a disappointment in Cincinnati. I guarantee you wish they didn't draft him, obviously. But that is all. We're at Patrick Mahomes. I think all nine teams would have rather drafted Patrick Mahomes here. Obviously, none of them made that decision to do so. But if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. See you in the next one. 